Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how I make my special quiche, which I personally think is the best quiche in the world. But I'm a little biased. Um, so I'm going to show you all the things that I have here to make this. So right here I have approximately two crowns of broccoli cut up, fairly coarse. Here I have well, pretty close to two bunches of green onions cut up. One red pepper sliced. Probably about 15 medium to large size white mushrooms sliced. Here I have about 300 grams of Black Forest ham and I cut this up kind of cubed. Over here I have some shredded old cheddar. So you definitely want something that's old and a bit sharp. And 10 eggs, which I will add to uh, some milk to and, and whip up. And two pie shells. Now unfortunately my pie shells somehow got damaged, but uh, that should be okay once we get going here. So I'll show you the next step. So the next step in this process is you're gonna take all of the green onions and the sliced ham, or diced ham, you're gonna put into a frying pan on a medium heat. And what you just wanna do here is saute it and uh, just kind of get it a little hot and uh, uh, you know a little bit brown, but not too much. So you know it takes maybe about eight minutes or so on a medium heat. So while you're making the uh, ham and onion mix, next thing you can do is get a pot with a little bit of water in it, put in your broccoli, put a lid on. We basically want to parboil this, so we don't want it to be fully cooked because it's going to cook once it's in the oven with the quiche. So right now my broccoli is cooking and my uh, ham and onion mixture is, is done, so I've just kind of set that off to the side. So I'm mixing up my eggs and so I have, uh, for two pies, I have 10 eggs, and about a cup of milk. Uh, I don't want too much milk in there because I want the eggs to set when they cook. Otherwise, if there's too much milk, it will, it will take a long time. I like to add a little bit of salt and pepper to the uh, scrambled egg mixture, uh, but not too much salt because you will pick up quite a bit of salt from the cheese and from the ham. Next part of making the quiche is you want to take your pie shells and take your parboiled broccoli, which you've uh, drained as much water out of as you can, and basically line the bottom of the pie shells, even the damaged ones which I have. So the next step is you're going to take that ham and green onion mixture you're going to try and spread it out on top of the broccoli as evenly as you can and basically just divide it uh, across both pie shells. What you want to do is you want to take that egg mixture and pour it over all of the ingredients that you have so far and you can see how much I've put in here. It's kind of just a little bit below the top and I've got the pie shells sitting on top of some tin foil and a baking sheet. This way if anything spills out, which sometimes it does as it's cooking, it's going to catch it. The next step here is you're going to start building up the toppings, which is the cheese the peppers and the mushrooms. So at first now I've got a layer of the cheese and then we're going to add some peppers and mushrooms and then we'll layer more cheese on top of that. So I've finished putting on all the ingredients into the two individual quiche pies. So it's basically uh, two layers of mushrooms, peppers, cheese and then another layer of the exact same ingredients. Once it, uh, it cooks, uh, something kind of magical happens with the mushrooms and the cheese and peppers. It's so good. So one thing I guess you have to keep in mind when you're baking this is there's a lot of moisture in all the different vegetables, the mushrooms, the peppers, and so on. So it takes a while for all that moisture basically to come out so that it will eventually cook in the egg set. So I preheat the oven to 350 and I'm gonna let that basically go for about 45 minutes and then I'm gonna check it. And usually what I do is I just take a knife, kind of stick it in and push it to the side just to see how the eggs are coming along. And then I usually finish it off at about 375 for yeah, roughly 10 to 15 minutes, but you know, I kind of play it by ear each time. So don't be concerned with the fact that the stack on top here is quite high. Everything will settle down once you start baking. So I've just taken out the two quiches from the oven. So it was approximately about 45 minutes at 350 and pretty close to half an hour at uh, 375. And uh, so you can see that they're nice and gold on the top here. And, um, you know, some of the egg mixture did come out and go onto the tin foil, but that's no big deal. That's why I put it there. You can just, you know, discard that. And um, the nice thing about this recipe is you can, uh, you can change it up a little bit. If you don't want to use ham, you can, uh, you know, substitute with shrimp if you want it or, you know, maybe pieces of chicken. Same thing with the broccoli. If you don't want to use broccoli, you could use uh, asparagus or, you know, maybe some other uh, vegetable, like maybe cauliflower or something like that. You can certainly change it up any way you wish but I uh, hope you like it and that's it. So here I've taken out a slice for everyone to see what it looks like. 
Um, one of the things I want to point out is that uh, this recipe does freeze very well so you can make a whole pie and you can wrap it and put it in the freezer. Uh, the other thing is it's incredibly good for breakfast in the morning. It's something I like uh, a lot.